everyone. This is month eight of the TQS Block of the Month for 2015. It's called My Country House, designed and made by Lynette Anderson. My name's Julie Cephalou, and I'm gonna give you some tips about how to make this month's block, which is the churn dash block. It looks like this. So let's take a look at how it's put together. So here's our churn dash block, and in the center of my block, I've got a nine patch. And this is gonna measure three and a half inches square unfinished. And you can either make it scrappy like I did in this one. So those are all one and a half inch squares sewn together. And on this example, I made it with uh, more of a traditional two color scenario. And um, I did some strip piecing on this one. So instead of cutting out one and a half inch individual squares, I went ahead and cut strips that were one and a half inches wide by about seven inches long and this out of the way. Um, I sewed my strips together and then I subcut those into one and a half inch wide segments and it just made it a little bit more quicker and more accurate and then um, and then you sew those segments together to get your nine patch. All right the next component of the block would be uh, let's go to the corners these are half square triangle units and you're starting with four inch squares and they're going to be slightly oversized so I want to just show you how you can cut these to trim them and make them the perfect three and a half inch square size so let's go down here to the cutting mat all right so here's my square and I'm using a square ruler that has a diagonal line on it and you want to make sure you place that diagonal line on the seam of your square and we're going to cut two sides. There's not a lot to trim here, but just enough to get it to be perfect. So I'm going to cut this side and this side. And if you have a block lock ruler, this is a great time to use that. They're great for the half square triangles. And then I'm going to turn it around and cut the other two sides. So now again, diagonal line goes on the seam. And I've got now those previous cut edges are following the three and a half inch line of my ruler. And now I can cut the other two sides. And this is gonna get you perfect half square triangle units for your churn dash block. The last unit of this block are the side units here. And they're made up of two rectangles that look like this. They're two inches by three and a half inches. And what I did instead of cutting out individual rectangles is I cut out some strips that were two inches wide by set, no, let's say 14 inches long. Um, this is the remainder of one of my strips. It looks like this. And then I cut this up into three and a half inch wide units. So let's show you what that looks like. Here's my strip and I'm going to, I've already made a clean cut here. Now I'm gonna put the three and a half inch line of my ruler on that cut edge. I also like to take the, the horizontal lines of the ruler and put them on that seam, just to make sure I've got a nice square unit when it's all cut. So I'm gonna cut this off here. And there's a perfect side unit and it's gonna go right back here. Get rid of these two. And this is just a little bit faster and more efficient and accurate way of making these pieces. Then you'll sew all of these pieces together. Your block should measure nine and a half inches when you're done. And then um, next I'm gonna talk to you about the applique for this month. This month's applique block is Misty the Pony and it looks like this. And I'm doing uh, the machine raw edge applique technique instead of hand applique. So I wanna give you a couple of tips on how I approached this month's block. First of all, I, since I'm doing raw edge machine applique, I needed to make a reverse image of this. So all I did was traced it from the back side and that'll give me the mirror image and it's exactly what I need for this. And then I'm gonna show you how I build this pony using an applique pressing sheet. All right, so I'm gonna be working on this side of the pony, it's the mirror image side, and I use that to trace all of my shapes onto the paper side of my fusible web. So you can see right through it, and you would just trace all of your shapes onto here. 
And then once they're traced and cut out, roughly, you'll press them onto the wrong side of your fabric. Um, I want to just note for the pony, I cut out the middle section of the fusible just to make it a little softer and uh, more pliable, but you could leave it in if you wanted, but I chose to cut it out. Um, and once you've pressed that fusible onto the wrong side of the pony, you're gonna cut it out right on the lines. It looks like this. And I've done that with all of my shapes. And then we're gonna build the pony using this side of the paper. So now I want it to be right side up looking like this. And I like to use an applique pressing sheet. And this is made out of uh, Teflon material. So it's a non-stick surface and you can see right through it. So I can see that pony right underneath and I'm gonna build my shape on here. So I need to, first of all, remove this piece of the fusible web paper. It peels right off. And I'm gonna start by placing my pony right on the outline there. And then I can put in all of the other shapes around it. So I've got the, the mane goes here and I'm kind of just following the outside edge right there. And then we're gonna put the feet into place. And there's a little bit of overlap and you can even see that in the diagram. Get the other leg here. Okay. And then I've got a couple of ears and a tail to put into place. For these tiny little pieces, if you've got a, a pin or a stiletto, something like that, it'll help you just position those. And that ear is going to go right underneath there. And then this ear comes up. If I can grab it. Tweezers would help too. <laughs> goes right underneath that piece right there. Um, I wanted to show you real quick for the the tail. If, if you have a hard time getting that paper to come off, you can just score it with a pin or a stiletto. Just give it a quick score and then it kind of snaps apart right there. It's real easy to grab that release paper and peel it off. Okay. Then I'm going to put the tail in place. And now I'm going to press all of this down and it's going to fuse the fabric pieces together to each other, but it's not going to fuse anything onto this applique pressing sheet. So give it a, a press for a little bit. There you go. And then once this cools off, I'm going to be able to peel this shape right off of here. Grab this little ear and pull it up. There we go. Okay, now my, my pony's ready to get fused down. So that's it for the month eight block of the month, Misty the Pony and the Churn Dash block. Have fun making these blocks. Can't wait to see them in the gallery.